And now, a dramatic reading of Goodbye Earl by the Dixie Chicks. and Wanda were the best of friends all through their high school days. Both members of the 4-H club, both active in the FFA. After graduation, Marianne went out looking for a bright new world. Wanda looked all around this town and all she found was Earl. Well, it wasn't two weeks after she got married that Wanda started getting abused. She put on dark glasses and long-sleeved blouses and makeup to cover her bruise. Well, she finally got the nerve to file for divorce. She let the law take it from there. But Earl walked right through that restraining order, put her in intensive care. Right away, Marianne flew in from Atlanta on a red-eye midnight flight. She held Wanda's hand and they worked out a plan. And it didn't take long for them to decide that Earl had to die. Goodbye, Earl, those black-eyed peas. They tasted all right to me, Earl. You're feeling weak? Why don't you lay down and sleep, Earl? Ain't it dark wrapped up in that tarp, Earl? The cops came by to bring Earl in. They searched the house high and low. Then they tipped their hats and said, Thank you, ladies. If you hear from him, let us know. Well, the weeks went by and spring turned to summer and summer faded into fall. And it turns out he was a missing person and nobody missed at all. So the girls bought some land and a roadside stand out on Highway 109. They sell Tennessee ham and strawberry jam. And they don't lose any sleep at night because Earl had to die. Goodbye, Earl. We need a break. Let's go out to the lake, Earl. We'll pack a lunch and stuff you in the trunk, Earl. Well, is that all right? Good. Let's go for a ride, Earl. Hey. Well, hey, hey, hey. Ah, hey, hey, hey. Well, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> 